All right, today uh, we're going to talk about how to draw some simple shapes in Paint.net, how to make some kind of fun little things, and we just did a pattern design, so maybe how we can take these and incorporate them into a pattern. All right, so I'm going to start with a new file new. I always just, I go with the generic size, whatever it is. I'm going to say it's 800 by 600, and I'm going to make sure I can see the whole, the whole area, and I'm going to start, let's start with a real basic, let's start with a cup or a bowl. Really easy to make with the shape tools. I'm going to get a shape tool. I'm going to make sure <coughs> my color, <coughs> sorry, I got a cough. Select the black color. I'm going to um, go to the, uh, when I select the tool there, I can choose which one I want. I'm going to choose the ellipse or circle shape. And I'm just going to drag out kind of a half circle so that it's going to look like a sort of a 3D cup. So that's my first step. I'm going to zoom in on this a little bit so I can see this area better with a magnifying glass by clicking and dragging. And I'm going to select the line tool or the curve tool. I'm going to line up my target right in the corner there and I'm going to hold shift on the keyboard and drag down. And then when I'm done, I'm going to hit enter to lock my shape in. I'm going to do the same thing on this side, shift, drag down. I'm going to just kind of eyeball it, make sure it's about the same width and hit enter. And you can always adjust it afterwards and you can even move the whole thing by grabbing the handle or you can use the arrow keys for fine adjustment. Okay, let me hit enter. Okay, last thing I'm going to do is add one more line. I'm going to start right here at the end here. Hold shift, drag it straight across. It wasn't perfectly lined up. That's okay because I'm going to bend this to look like the bend from the top. And then I will bend this so that it matches the, the end there. And when I'm happy with it, I'll out a little maybe and I'll hit enter all right I've almost almost done I'm just gonna fill it with some color so for now I'm just gonna go with a, whatever color I want click enter and then I might fill the top with something that might be the liquid that's in there maybe like a blue color maybe it's water um, and you can get fancier and add a handle and you know there's lots of other things so if I'm gonna add a handle here I would um, draw a line straight down the side I would switch it to black and then I would just pull out like this so there's the start of my handle I make make it a little thinner change that number to a three and you don't have to you can do this however you want I'm gonna drag another line right down here where I want the handle to end see how I started it in a different spot and then you can make kind of a cool shape it doesn't have to be uh, perfect or whatever and then um, hit enter oh look at that added a handle to it free of charge no 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 extra charge for the handle you can do the handle if you want. You can match the colors. Um, you want to get fancy, you can use gradients. Ooh. Um, you can magic wand an area. You can turn the gradient on and you just drag across. And the gradient uses the primary color and the secondary color. So I can even change that secondary color so that it's changing shade between two other colors. Ooh. So I've got a basic shape that I just made, 3D image. And then I can make copies of that if I want. I can highlight it. I can hit Control C, Control V to paste. Now I've got two. I can do my own little, uh, you know, like Andy Warhol type design. Control C, Control V. So there's there's one basic shape: a cup, coffee cup. If you add more to it, you could put a some text on it and and make it one of those cups that says, you know, world's greatest mom. There's one easy design to make. Let's do something else. Let's do, uh, someone showed me yesterday, I thought it looked really cool, and it looked really easy. Um, let's make a uh, half slice of watermelon. So for a half slice of watermelon, I gotta leave a little note on my board. We're gonna start with a circle, actually. Um, the ellipse tool again. We're gonna get the black. Select the black for our primary colors. You gotta click on the primary color. Let's make a circle. Oops, why isn't my circle showing up? I'll bet I know why because I have a selection right here. See the marching ants? I have to hit Control D to get rid of that. And I'm gonna draw my circle. And then I'm gonna cut the circle in half. I'm gonna use a selection tool here. And I'm gonna chop the top half off like this. Um, I can fill that in again with white. Uh, I can click this button to get my black and my white back. I can flip flop the black and the white and fill that in. And then I'm gonna draw a line across the top. My black again. I might zoom in so I can sort of see where my line is starting and ending. Hold shift, drag it across. And there's the top of my thing. And then I'm gonna do one more line. Now this line is gonna be the curvy bend that's the, the rind 
of the um, uh, watermelon. So I'm going to start here, okay? And I'm going to drag it over to here, and I'm going to stop right about here so that I can then bend this to bend with the shape of the watermelon that I want it to be. And I can adjust this and make it as even or as thick, or if it gets thicker or whatever, hit enter. Okay, almost done. Now I'm gonna fill it with some red, and hit enter to commit my color, and then get to a green, enter. And then the last step uh, maybe is uh, get the paintbrush, make it a little bit bigger, like an eight or nine, and I'm gonna turn that to black, and I'm gonna make my seeds. And voila, I have watermelon. There are so many different simple shapes. Why don't you make something and uh, give me an idea? Send it in. Send in an idea for a simple, simple design. I Google simple things, easy things to draw or small things to draw. And I hope this gives you some ideas. This is a starting point for making your own design. Enjoy.